fast. Yeah, it is. Sit. Go. More throttle. Keep your nose up. There you go. Pull it. Oh. I got you. I got you. Okay. Sit. No, it wasn't. No. Go. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Whoa. Hey, welcome to Mesa RC. I'm Mr. Marsh and I got Max. Max here. Max, you are an animal when it comes to World War II type planes. But this is not a World War II, right? No. This is, what's this one called? This is the Racer. This is the FT Racer. And do you remember who it was designed by, the flight test? No. I think it was designed by David Windestall. The Swede. Do you know anything about David Windestall? No. Oh man, we need to get Max into some flight test history. Um, and this was the racer off of, based off of what movie? Oh, it was like the planes movie. The planes movie, <laughs> right. The bad guy. Yeah. Rip Slinger. Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, uh, go ahead and talk about, because this is beautiful. You did a, an amazing job on it. Um, go ahead and talk about some of the things that you struggled with, and what was different about this plane than the P-51 you made last time. Well, a couple things were, the wings really... I think they're smaller. Yeah. Oh, like, they were actually easier to make just because, like, I didn't have to completely, like, flatten them. Okay. Well, yeah, they're, they're more, like, that swept back. These ones are more, like, swept I don't back know to. If that, like, makes sense. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> well, even if this is your second one, so it's going to go faster. It did um, go a lot faster. It was easier because I know how everything worked, what was going on. Yeah, you did a really good job. Um, and then you improvised on the poster board, used some sort of cardstock material. Yes. It still looks great. I still like the way it looks. And then servos, super clean. Yeah, man, you're doing a really good job. Servos awesome. were a struggle, though. I had to redo all of them because yeah. I had to zero them all out. Yeah, but that's Not good, though. It's good, good learning experience from you. And you know, you got four circles on this thing, and as a sixth grader trying to get all this in, that's not no easy task. You did a really good job. So a lot of our designs, we focus on doing the jets and, and the, that kind of platform, but to actually have a front prop, I mean, we don't usually do that, so that would be kind of cool to see what you come up with. Are you going to try to mix like the FT Racer or any type of other plane, or are you just going to come up with kind of like your own style? Or I just like my own style. Very cool. Are you ready to fly this thing? Awesome, let's get outside and go fly. Start going back on that one side, you gotta start reversing. Okay, set. Go. Turn right. More gas. You're stalling out, so give it more gas. <laughs> okay, so believe it or not, the wing actually looks really good. How did the wing survive? I have no idea. This flew out and actually looks Fine. great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we need to get that on there. It, this is fixable. <laughs> no way, dude. No way you hit it that hard. And the plane looks fine. 
<laughs> awesome. All right, what'd you do? Fix this plane. <laughs> I can't believe it still looks clean. So what'd you have to do? So there's like a really big, just really clean snap and half right here. So that was really easy to get back together. And the wings were separated from the front. So I had to glue that back down. It really wasn't much. So you ready to go? Yeah. Let's get back out there. Day 25, <laughs> attempt number 476. The racer is going back up in the sky. We crashed it? Did you I say crashed we it. crashed it? <laughs> okay. Okay, you ready? Okay. All right. Uh, see on the side. Yeah, yeah. Assessment, broken prop. Broken prop, nothing else. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Hey, I'm proud of you for, um, you know, not quitting after that first crash. And I mean, he his plane was this dismembered in like how many different pieces? Uh, three, I think. three or four pieces. <laughs> it was a clean break, and he put it back together, and it flew better than it did before. We just need to get more simulator time. Max is only a sixth grader, so he's he, this is a, a pretty advanced plane. Um, but for his uh, building and for the engineering piece of it, it's really good for him because he needs that, he needs that challenge. He's a pretty bright kid and uh, for him to challenge himself with that kind of a build, that's, that's awesome. Um, and then what are you working on right now? Um, I'm actually working on designing a plane kind of like this. So similar, same, same similar kind of look? style. Very cool. Awesome. We'll look for more Max in the future and uh, good job, bud. Thanks for watching.